Hey peeps, good morning, locking down the truth with Marcy Locke. So this morning during my workout, what I was thinking about, because actually I just got up and I, uh, I rocked out my workout right here, um, where I'm staying, just grab my band. My intention was just to get the rest of my upper body in because I'm actually going to fry out the entire Live Big seminar, um, doing shoulders and buys later today, less than 15, 20 minutes and, and kick some trash. So, but what's coming up for me is the thought about the experience yesterday. Um, and that so many people, the first part of changing and transforming your life to get to become who you want to be, to live the life that you want to live is the bottom line is you get to take full responsibility and accountability for the life that you are experiencing, realizing that in any situation and circumstance, how did you think about it? How did you perceive the situation? What are your beliefs around it? How did you act or react in every single circumstance of life? You have a choice of how to respond, how to think, how to perceive, how to act out, how to do everything. Everything comes down to choice and whatever you're looking for, you're going to find. So if you're looking for the good, you're going to find the good. If you're looking for the bad, you're going to find the bad. And so in every situation, you can look for the reasons, the validations, excuses, why you can't, why it won't work, who to blame, or you can look for the solution. And you can now say, oh, uh, interesting that I attracted this or that I created this or that I perceived it that way. What, what do I want now? And you get to start to take full responsibility first off for what you have. And I mean, literally, I'll give you a quick story is that um, when I experienced a cheating husband and got divorced six years ago um, and became a single mom of just a one-year-old and a four-year-old little boy, it devastated me and yet I realized and I got to look at it and take accountability and where I got to take accountability does that mean that I forced my ex-husband to cheat on me no but what it but uh, what I got to look at is what were my belief systems around love and and trusting people and who did I why did I attract what I attracted and as I got to look at it I recognized that I would speak the words that um if I'm always perfect and um beautiful then he'll always love appreciate me and never cheat on me. Those were literally the words that I would say, which it's just like if I said, don't think of the color blue, what do you think of? That's what's in your mind. So your mind works in visions and pictures. So I was like, wow, interesting that from the time I was young, I, I, I recognized that I didn't trust love to last. So of course I attracted someone who I thought was safe. I looked for someone who was less than in a way that made me feel like, oh, if, if I'm always up here, they're always love and appreciate me. And so if I just stayed like this perfect, beautiful thing, this was me and my perfectionist identity and me and my stories and me and living a very limited life, of unhappy because I just was trying to play a role. I was living in a mask and playing a role of being this person I thought I had to be and what it had to look like to be loved and validated. So what I attracted and, and created was the very thing that I didn't want. The very thing that I was afraid of is untrusting love. And so I looked at, wow, I always said if I'm always perfect and do this and that and that, then he'll always love, appreciate me and never cheat on me. What did my mind say? What was I speaking? What was I worried about? What was I afraid of? Of course, I experienced a cheating husband. And that was what I would have thought would have been the last thing that I would have experienced with that person. So um, the, the bottom line is until you just decide to take full acceptance and accountability for what you are having and what you are experiencing, it will never change for you. It will never change for you. If you always want to follow up, we'll look for blame, blame it on somebody else, look for the reason why it's outside of you, then you will continue to experience the same thing. And no one can save you but you because it always comes down to your choice of what you want to experience. So I just want to fully uh, you know, give you that inspiration or that, um, that seeing the whole big picture that you can have something totally different if you decide to take responsibility and now look for what you want to accept. So this is Marcy Locke. I'm reminding you that you get to be fit to get paid, to be connected to your tool, to create the relationships, to create the finances, your business, the cash, the confidence, everything starts with being in tune with this tool and then going internal. And I'm going to remind you that the power of choice is yours. Today, what do you want to choose for your life? You get to choose your best life. Lock it down.